Hello and welcome back everybody to the High School Star League. I'm your caster Turbo. I can be found on Twitter at DAS Turbo. You can follow me there. And uh, get updates on whenever I'm casting the game. You can also find out whenever I'm walking my dog. Which is all the time. This is of course the High School Star League. Game between Brody Preparatory... Uh, Brody College Preparatory and Pinecrest High School. This is game two Ten of the best of two series. Go. Brought to you by Twitch, Newegg, MSI, Rockat, Jinx, Tespa, and Loot Crate. Radiance Band. And let's get into it. Is Pinecrest third band Slark? Oh boy. Radiance Band. Looking at the uh, picks and bands, we got Slark for the Dire. Er, yeah. Storm Spirit banned first for the Dire side, and Sniper. The sniper did dominate in that early game. Didn't do so well late game, but. Ten seconds to go. In the mid and late game phases, he just got wrecked by that. Uh, wrecked by that. Reserve Slark time. and Volk combination. God, my mind is already leaving. I'm getting old. Third man out Bristleback. Let's take a look at picks. We got Troll Warlord and Ventral Spirit for BCP. Very potent combination. Very good lineup for taking Roche early. Is uh, geez, they're on the dire side too. That's pretty disgusting. We also got Axe and Lion picked up by Pinecrest here. Is oh boy. <laughs> Very targeted bands. Uh, Slark and Invoker taken out of the pool. They just don't want to play against those guys. So for X and Lion, okay, actually, uh, this is something that I like. Um, both teams go for that thing I was talking about. Mona and I cost. I uh, talked about it last week. Um, how you usually want to get a core and a support Reserve in the first time. phase. Doesn't give away too much about your draft. And both teams do that here. They get Axe. Could be run as a safe lane Dyer's farmer. Could big. be uh, solo safe lane if they want to run an aggressive tri lane. Could be put in the jungle. Could also be... Uh, could also just be straight off lane. Is uh, The same could be said about BCP. Troll Warlord. Very versatile. Not maybe as versatile as Axe is, but he still goes... Still goes... Uh, Mid and ten seconds to go. Safe lane, pretty reliably. Can do pretty much anything he wants. Five seconds. Ventral Spirit also very versatile support, like Reserve we saw in that last time. game. BCB also picked it. So, um, going back to basics, picking up what they want. As BCP will pick up a Phoenix as they Radiant ban out the Spirit Breaker. This is pretty good. Um. Picking it when you've already got the Troll Warlord, I like, because, um, one, Troll Lord is, Troll Warlord is, like, the, the artist counter against Phoenix, it's just, move, attack speed, attack speed, attack speed. Ten seconds to go. And uh, that supernova can just wreck on fools. They don't have a whole lot of fast attacking heroes here. Of course, they will most likely pick up their Reserve their uh, cores in this uh, phase and maybe one more support. Um, one other thing of interest to me and why Phoenix is so appealing here, Slark is also banned. Slark, maybe not the first hero you think of when it's like, oh yeah, you wrecks Phoenix. Um, but uh, supernova, or the fire spirits can be purged off quite easily. With Slark's uh, Dark Pact, and in this case, they won't have a Slark to bring him down. Bring down that bird, that big bird. Is, uh, he's gonna take us to Sesame Street and teach us all about pain in this game. <laughs> Looks like Doom. Gonna be the fourth pick. We haven't seen this guy in a lot in a while. But uh, seems BCP are bringing him back. He could uh, be a pretty huge asset against this Queen of Pain if she starts to snowball early. And, uh,. That's actually quite greedy. I guess this could be a support Phoenix. That'd be interesting. Um, Ventral Spirit Phoenix could be a good support combination. Good kill potential on the Axe. 
and the uh, fire spirits obviously don't proc axes spin, so that could be interesting. Again, this is just versatility, Five like we're seeing. They could run these heroes in any combination of uh, of things and positions and time. what have you. Metric Dawn, I am not sure, um, but who knows? People have better things to do on a Friday night, maybe. As Morphling will be the fourth pick for Pinecrest here. Interesting. Um, I suppose this could be a farming Morphling. It could be a support Morphling or offlane. I mean, this is the versatility we're talking about. Like you wanna, you wanna always be surprising the enemy team. But I think in this case, he's gonna be farming Morphling. Does uh, okay against Phoenix in lane if they choose to run Phoenix as an off lane. Also does well against Doom. That uh, waveform also pretty good. Uh, on the off lane, I think that would be a really greedy pick, especially against Ventral Spirit and Phoenix. But in the late game, that uh, a max strength adaptive strike is not to be underestimated. Reserve time. Dyer's pick. Disruptor gonna be the fourth ban from B, uh, from Pinecrest, and Skyrath gonna be the ban from BCP. Uh, Disruptor. Disruptor good against Queen of Pain with the blink, because you can just glimpse her back. Also good in the offlane against anybody. Morphling would be especially susceptible to that, but also it's just it just wrecks anybody really. Uh, once you get that fat, if you're able to get fast Dance levels against him, go. it's good. And also the silence against Morphling would be really invaluable. Five seconds. Reserve time. Waiting for that fifth pick from BCP. I think in this situation, maybe. Oh, it's gonna be a support Phoenix! Unless they're going to Ultra Greed and getting like Phoenix off lane, Doom the Jungle, Shadow Fiend mid. Um, the Shadow Fiend troll, or troll Warlord combo we see pretty often. Um, gonna be interesting to see if they can make it work here. As uh, they have a lot of farming potential. Maybe looking to just pure out farm Pinecrest into the late game, although they do have a Morphling. But I think Doom versus Morphling, that's a story we've seen before. I think Doom usually comes out the victor in that case, but that, uh, it's all up to how it's played. Is BCP going to be facing Pinecrest? BCP's looking, uh, a fantastic game one. Off the back of an explosive Slarkin Invoker. Game two looking to switch things up because the, <laughs> the Slarkin Invoker were banned, unfortunately for them. So, getting into game one here, or game two, this is of course, Ryan, uh, Ryan K. Crizzle. I wouldn't say that Slark counters Phoenix, but he does well against him. Um, I just think that it's an interesting interaction between the heroes. It's my personal opinion on the matter. Some feel differently, but I think that Dark Pact being able to purge off the fire spirits and have your attack speed back is actually really valuable. But getting into the game, we got near on the Queen of Pain. Gonna be uh, looking to repeat his early game performance on that sniper, maybe not so much the late game. As Hooligan gonna be playing the Undying support, I believe. Face on the farming Morphling. CZ Ju trying to uh, redeem himself on that offlane axe. Pincus will be on the uh, support lion. On the dire side for BCP, Phantom going to be playing the Phoenix. Might be going into the offlane, it looks like. As we have BJ playing this Shadow Fiend. Bamf on the Ventral Spirit. Prometheus on the Doom. And CY going to be playing the Troll Warlord. As there will be a little skirmish for the uh, starting runes, but it looks like... Looks like uh, the Radiant will take both of them. Queen of Pain getting really close to her uh, bottle at this point, and I think she should dominate SF in the early portion of the game to take that uh, CS lead early on. Shadow Fiend, of course, starting with Necromastery first, as it will be the Ultra Greed, Phoenix offlane, and then Doom in the uh, jungle, just going to be AFK farming for a while. 
Solo support, eventual spirit against a dual lane. Trip. It's a tri lane. Aggressive tri lane from Pinecrest. They're just looking to shut this troll down. As I think Morphling doesn't do so well in uh, this solo lane against Phoenix, but we will see how they do. Top is missing. Looks like near. Gonna be fighting for CS in the mid lane here. Both mid laners with zero so far as a uh, Radiant Ward goes down here. Taking a look at Vision just to start the game off. We have that uh, Rune Vision for the Radiant. And they have a little bit here that sees into the jungle, seeing any potential rotations. But it looks like Doom is just gonna be farming away. He's got that Toughness Aura picked up from the Wildkin. He's gonna be pulling this camp out. Hooligan not gonna disrupt the pool, strangely enough. As uh, taking a look at this bottom lane. The off lane and the uh, safe lane, even in CS as far as that goes. But the big loser here going to be the Troll Warlord, as Sec called. Oh boy. Don't hate on Peru, guys. There will be a disruption of this pull, but it looks like all the uh, dire creeps will be killed by these uh, creeps, and that's the huge part. Even as, uh, and it looks like Doom will be getting all the CS here, which is huge as well. Pinkus might try and take this last hit here, but I think Prometheus will take it. Yep, gets it. So, overall, good start in this. Uh, like, decent start in this tri lane. Not the best, but BJ taking some damage here and from near. Doesn't have any more raises to throw out. We'll get the last one, actually. The blink away is actually what killed near there, as Shadow Fiend should be able to live. Actually, yeah, he lives. He's got the, he's got the bottle coming out to him. This is huge. Is Hooligan going to zone Prometheus out? But this is just not a huge problem for the Doom. BJ will bottle up, maybe send the courier back to base? No, he'll have to TP back in to the mid lane, but it looks like Banff making a rotation here. Oh my gosh, if they can get this two kills. He's got two levels in Shadow Rays, and he's got 15 souls. This could actually be huge. He's going to TP back into base, I assume. Yes, he will. Nier did not see this Invis rune get picked up. Might actually be brought down here. Does know that Venge is not in the picture. On that top lane is uh, Hooligan. Yeah, you can hear the Lions calling out that top is missing. But uh, still, just buying time for BJ. Oh, there's going to be a stun on Tanir! Second raise available. Won't be able to hit it. As, oh, he's going for it, but he won't be able to bring down the Queen of Pain, who has afforded the bottle. Still, Queen of Pain. No more region left beside this one tango she's got left as she munches on one. Axe, in the meantime, is doing very well in this lane. He's got... Uh, Tranquil Boots, if he wants it, gonna go and try and get disrupt this pull, which he will get. Oh, trying to find Prometheus. He's got two points in the call and one point in counter helix. This is weird. I guess he doesn't need the RNG as Prometheus. Does not have boots. He's going straight for the Midas. Could be caught out by CD CZJU here, but it looks like he won't be. Checking on that bottom lane, Phantom winning in CS by just one, but it looks like Face is winning in terms of in terms of denies it. I think he should be going, he could be going for Midas here. Not sure if that's the best decision, but uh, it is possible, and that's what matters. BJ going to make a rotation here to the top lane, gets that haste rune. As I think the big part for this uh, aggressive tri lane is that BCP aren't losing anyone to this aggressive tri lane that should be looking to kill pretty early on. Looks like, ah, uh, Shadowfiend actually going to make a rotation with that haste rune. Haste! Might be able to get a kill here as Pinkus will be brought down. Hooligan also taking a lot of damage. There's a tombstone here, but it just doesn't look like BC BCP care as the Doom will fall. He cares, but CY able to get another kill for himself. Chora Warlord getting one, and then Doom picks up the other. So this is already a good, good, well worth rotation by BJ here. Nier does get a little bit more CS in this lane, but I think Shadowfiend is just happy to have helped his team dominate. 
in that lane just a little bit more. Prometheus will go mid lane. Wants to wants to eat a creep. He's hungry. Not going to happen. Actually, it looks like he's gonna eat a jungle creep. Never mind. X ooh, on the bottom lane. Phantom. He's going for one in Icarus dive, one in or three in fire spirits, and then one in sunray. As he uh, has the ultimate available, doesn't have the mana to uh, pick it up. He's going for a Urn of Shadows, and he has Tranquil Boots purchased, so he's doing very well for himself in this lane. Better than an offlane Phoenix usually should, but, uh, oh boy, already. PC, not off to a great start. This aggressive tri lane should be uh, destroying, but so far they've only been able to get that one kill on Prometheus, and he does not care. He he has the he is a munch. He's He's been able to munch on creep so far. It's BCP. See why could be caught out here. He will be caught going back in by the axe call. Looks like the undying and axe will be able to bring him down. Good kill onto the troll there as Invis Rune gonna be picked up for BJ. Bamf has boots finally afforded. It looks like wow, this Shadow Fiend's making a lot of rotations early. He's level six, highest in terms of last hits. And uh, we'll make another rotation to this top lane. Phantom does not have a TP scroll. Can't purchase one if he wants. It looks like BJ trying to find Axe here. We don't have a tombstone. Still on cooldown for 23 seconds. As CZG runs forward, there's a Troll Warlord coming in, but he's still in base. It looks like there will be a Hex on to Bamp. Good quick kill. Undying gets that one. BJ able to bring down the lion. A, a net goes out onto CZG. He's got mana for one more raise. Gets it. A double kill for the Shadow Fiend as he picks up his power treads now. And uh, that's a quick rotation. Gets a good kill there. And uh, BJ quickly teleports back to mid. He's got two bottle charges, so he's not too worried. Gear actually near. Could bring him down if he uh, if he thinks he can try it. Shadow Fiend doesn't have his treads right now, so he's a little bit squishy. Bringing out a ring of Aquila to himself. So, see why. Safe farming this top lane for a little bit longer as Hooligan gonna be gone on. He's got the tombstone available if he wants. Come in by CZJU. Gets the call off. There's a Icarus dive and a Suns and a uh, and a ultimate used by the Phoenix. CZJU caught out back here by the creep. CY does have axes available and he's got plenty to spare as he brings down the brings down the axe. Could be dropping to zombies here, actually. Dyer's nope. He'll die. What? Hey! <laughs> Looks like in the mid lane, Shadowfiend was brought down near. Use the Sonic Wave. Good use of his spells there. As Doom Dyer's is able to Dyer's afford a Midas here, and uh, Phoenix was able to get the Supernova off, so. <laughs> Not so great for them to lose their top farming hero as we check out net worth. It is indeed Shadowfiend sitting at the top. Uh, not great to lose their top farmer, but uh, they're getting a little bit more for their troll warlord as he will be forced to go back to base. BJ will catch up on souls real quick here. He's hankering for some souls. Doom is level 6 with his Hand of Midas at 8 minutes and 30 seconds. So at this point, his farm just accelerates beyond acceptable level levels for any uh, for anyone on the enemy team. As Face is just quietly farming away here. Looks like he will be going for a Lincoln Sphere. Didn't get a Midas first either. So, I think in the late game... Oh, looks like Pinkus might be brought down by Phoenix here. He doesn't have a Supernova available. Will try to deny himself to Ancients and will. Oh boy. Prometheus farming up in the jungle, but it looks like BG will just take those. These are my creeps, he says. I'm the true lord of the jungle. On the top lane, see why I might be brought down. Looks like CZG is still working on his blink dagger nine minutes in. I think at this point he should just he should just go into the jungle and farm his blink. It's better to have your jungle uh, to have your blink before 12 minutes, uh, and like not be involved a little bit in the top lane, than to not have it later on at the cost of maybe exerting a little bit more pressure on this troll. It's my personal opinion, but uh, we will see. As could be a rotation. Uh, Phoenix pops a sunray for no reason, maybe just to help tr uh, help out the Doom. As he's got Supernova available, can jump in. We'll use the Icarus dive now. See why? Cut out, turned into a frog. Will be an Icarus dive. 
launches the fire spirits. Pinkus will just die immediately. Doom not even having to be used as Hooligan jumps in actually. What's he going for? Will be brought low and dropped by the Doom as Phantom is on a killing spree now. Well played by them to uh, just get those two kills. This is what I mean. Like, Axe isn't getting anything out of this top lane. He's not, uh, not getting his job done as he's just about to hit level 6 now. I mean, I think at this point he should just go jungle. Morphling still doing the best on the Radiant side in terms of uh, net worth. As Nier maybe looking to get a kill here, he jumps in, gets the Scream off onto Bamf, will launch the Sonic Wave, doesn't have any more mana to get the dagger off, and that's a wasted rotation, as Face and Nier are in trouble now, blink away from the Queen of Pain, the, da the axe has come out, Face could be in huge trouble here, is able to waveform away, but these ranged axes just keep going to work, Sunray gonna catch him out on the back end, as uh, he does have Morph available, level 4, I don't think they'll be able to kill him here. Still, lots of time and uh, energy wasted as it looks like Morphling will have to go back to base. Tower destroyed by the Dire in the mid lane. This uh, Shadow Fiend is just going ham. He's working on a drums first, actually. I don't see that that often. Doom has afforded Magic Wand, Phase Boots, and a Midas for himself as CY and Phantom will push this bottom lane. They do know that Morphling had to go back to base and regen, morph all his stuff back into agility as this is weird. He's uh, gone for one point in Adaptive Strike over the Replicate at, uh, at level 9. That's a little weird. I, I think that the Replicate would be a little more valuable, especially since he just had to go back to base. Would have been nice to have a Replicate that he could just come back into. Start farming again, maybe contest the uh, destruction of this bottom lane. Tier 1 tower. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Well, Tier 1 tower will die. See why finding some good catch up farm here as he uh, currently sitting 5th on net worth. Top 3 farmers are in Archer BCP right now. This is uh. might be uh, spiraling, spiraling a little out of control for uh, PC here. Still, Axe will have a Blink Dagger soon, he did follow my advice and go into the jungle. Uh, he will have a 13 to 14 minute, I think 13 minute Blink Dagger. Not the best, but uh, considering how that top lane went, I think that's the best he can hope for. As Bamp will go on a warding mission here, I think he was spotted out by this ward. But uh, he will drop a ward down, sees the creeps coming up. It's actually sees up here, so... They see the Pinkus and Hooligan are sitting around here, but the creeps tell them that already, as Banff might look to make a rotation. CY farming up jungle camp here. He's going for a Helm of the Dominator first, as Phantom throwing out those fire spirits. It looks like, no, he hasn't used them yet. But he has a Supernova available. Pink is actually trying to find a kill. Gets the Hex and the Stun. Oh! Trying to find something. He's going to dive in, get the Supernova off. This is a huge mistake. Oh, boy. Shadow Fiend gets a kill, and Phoenix gets a kill. As uh, Nier not even choosing to make a rotation there. This is quickly falling apart for Pinecrest, as BJ and Phantom will take that top tier one tower. This Phoenix has just been destroying is... Okay, sl Shadow Fiend is going for a Yasha first, maybe Sanjin Yasha. Um, as it looks like Phoenix... Yule Scepter? I don't know. Looks like... CZU gonna be caught out here by the Phoenix Sunray and a Fire Spirit and an Urn. Phantom just zoning the crap out of this axe. As Prometheus also here, he's got Doom and a Midas off cooldown. CZU blinks to the low ground. He's like, I have, I want no part in this, none of it. Man, this Morphling's farm is really slowed down ever since. Oh, he's trapped in the trees. If they get the, oh man, that would have been. He's forced to teleport back to base. That's actually huge. Phantom has the fire spirits available. We'll get the sun ray out. Pinkus is like, no, I hate the sun. I hate it. Prometheus is going for a shadow blade, actually. He's smoked up. As I believe it was Bamf who used that. Phantom gonna be farming up these creep camps. There's actually no, this wasn't stacked. Looks like CY is just going straight for the Roshan. He's got life steal already. Bamf will throw out the throw out the uh, minus armor. 
Is the Radiant definitely see this, and they're gonna try and stop it? Is Phantom gonna? Ooh, he actually has Supernova available in 14 seconds, but he doesn't have the mana for it. BJ can teleport to this bottom lane and help out. Is oh boy, Phantom, you're getting pretty low, my man. As uh, CZ Jew will be spotted, uh, will spot Phantom out here. It looks like Phoenix is dead. He does have buyback if he wants to use it. Might have to if he wants to save his team. CZ Jew gonna blink onto Bamf. Roche was uh. Halted for now. I think if they want to take Roche, they need Shadow Fiend. Prometheus eats Creep, and CGG didn't even have to use the dunk there, I believe. Nier is going straight for that Orchid, it appears. And Dune working on that Shadow Shadow Blade as Morphling. I don't know why he's grouping up with his team this early when he hasn't even completed a Lincoln Sphere, but whatever, let's roll with it. Looks like there's going to be a replicate of the axe moving forward. Swap onto Pincus, he's going to be dead immediately. Sonic Wave kills F uh, Prometheus already, but the Doom has been used on Morphling. That's enough. CY getting the right clicks out as the Supernova will bring down Axe. Nier is able to blink away as uh, the one remaining is Hooligan. Icarus died from Phoenix. Getting Sunray. He hates the sun. He's a zombie. He hates it. As that's a level 4 Sunray. CY. He might be trying to find a tower kill here. No, he's just going to TP bottom. Get those delicious creeps and then maybe take Roche. It's a little added bonus there. Supernova not having too much effect by the Phoenix, but uh, it was good zoning use. Better to use it and uh, win the fight than not use it and lose. Just because you didn't, and you were like, ah, be greedy, I'll take it. I'll just hold it. CY and BJ, BJ, I think you have to be here for this, man. Oh well. Oh well. Gonna be a Doom TP, he's working, still working on that Shadow Blade. Near, uh, I don't even know, I think you have to use Orchid on Phoenix if he doesn't get the Supernova off, but he's a if he's able to get Supernova, I think at that point, maybe... Just Doom Doom, or Orchid Doom, as Pincus, who he's spotted up by an Observer Ward here, could be brought down low, drops an Observer, he sees the enemy team here, but Pincus could be quite dead, yes, he will take the right clicks, Bamp gets the stun, and that's an easy kill for the Doom, Troll gets the Aegis of the Immortal, in the meantime, he's running into the jungle to just get lifesteal on these creeps, lifesteal on these fools, doesn't even get the Helm of the Dominator, he's just like, oh, I don't need that, this is an item for losers. I just need regular old Morbin Mask. Phoenix actually finishes an ATOS, I like that. Less movement speed for them, the better, and that's just a 10 second cooldown. Ridiculous cripple, de uh, cripple range as things are just going all the way at BCP here. Nier is going to be TPing the top, he's almost got his uh, Orchid complete, TP uh, blinks into the trees, will have to escape, but still forces a rotation from the Shadow Fiend. Top tier 1 tower getting pretty low. As Phantom, can you use that Rod of Atos? It's revealed as Axe blinks in, misses the call actually. Phantom pops the spirit. CZ Dude does not right click fast at all. Icarus dive in. He's actually been orchided by the Queen of Pain, it looks like. Yeah, he might actually die. Phoenix falls as Doom does still have the Doom, the item of his namesake. Near, blinking in, getting the kill on the courier. That's huge. Shadow Blade activated from Prometheus. It looks like he will be able to survive. May, uh, just able to avoid the blink call of Axe as Bamf will sacrifice his life here instead. Shadow Fiend does get a tower kill. Troll Warlord also takes one. So even when they lose, they still seem to win. Helm of the Dominator picked up for the Shadow Fiend. As he uh, drops his bottle and chooses to get rid of it, he does have the Ring of Aquila, so that gives him a little more mana regeneration. There's regen rune sitting in the top rune spot here. As, I mean, efficiency is just the name of the game. Let's take a look at the graphs, and we see it's all coming up BCP. Troll Warlord farming the enemy jungle. Shadow Fiend farming the uh, friendly jungle. Prometheus also taking some creeps there. He will use his Midas. And his uh, top two farmers for the of the game are on the dire side. And uh, the next, the closest one behind that is the Queen of Pain, and uh, she needs to do a lot more than she's doing currently to uh, carry the game on her shoulders. Looks like she will get a point booster as Morphling still working on that, uh, still working on that Lincoln's. 
I just don't know how much this offers to him once he's uh, once he's completed it because the Rod of Atos is on a 10 second cooldown like I mentioned can be used just totally freely by the Phoenix and then the stun comes out from Ventral Spirit and all this other good stuff that BCP have I mean I don't know how much this Lincoln Spirit's gonna do but even like that being said I don't know what the item choice is even if you don't get a Lincoln's whoops might have hit the mic there Invisibility. MMR doesn't matter, chat. All that matters is we're seeing some good Dota 2. It's uh, BCP spreading the map, trying to find something. Looks like BJ might be caught out here. Near blinks forward. There's going to be an Orchid. Immediate Mantle style. Near might be brought low. There's a Scream of Pain. Actually, the Axe Dunk misses as BJ will be brought down. Pinkus could be next on the menu, however, as Near is going to have to TP out. Phantom. Gets a kill. Prometheus Shadow Blades up. Might want to find a kill here. Could get the Doom off onto Morphling. This could be huge as he won't be able to replicate away. Going to be a call from CZ Jew. Come in by Phoenix. Gets the Supernova off. And uh, might be able to go for another dive as Hooligan will heal up face here. I believe I believe the face, by the way, is Marg. I think that's uh, what that was. Is Queen of Pain. Not getting a whole lot done there. Radiance middle Zoning Doom used by Prometheus is Phantom healing up his team with the urn. That's another thing they have Radiance to break Lincoln's here. Urn of Shadows, it's just so good. As Visions established here by the dire side, this ward's gonna run out. Near. Man, he's not even a priority target as CY's just gonna go straight for the tower. CY gonna drop here, but he's got Aegis. Phantom doesn't have the sup uh, the supernova available as Hooligan dropping low. Finger used onto Prometheus, but he is too damn tanky. Bamp has a stun available. He's just going to swap pink as he does get the kill for the Phoenix there. And see why? Dropping low doesn't actually have ages anymore. Nier gets the kill there. As Prometheus doesn't have Doom available, but there's no way out. For Morphling gets stunned. Has this waveform out in three seconds. CZ Jew gets the dunk off onto the Doom. Bamf is next on the list. Morphling gets a good kill there. That's his Lincoln Sphere afforded. CZ Jew might be looking for another kill here. As uh, Nier going to be slowed by the Rod of Atos. Phantom taking a lot of damage. Going to be a second dunk for CZ Jew. And with that, Pinecrester just right back in it. Um, there are no games after this, sadly. Team Pocket Strat. And also, um, High School Star League gets their official casters. You need to apply. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Would love to have you, I'm sure. In the meantime, however, it looks like Axe has afforded that blade mail. Lion's still working on a blink dagger. As Hooligan going to be building a blade mail himself. BJ has got that full Manta style. Good to get out of the Orchid from Queen of Pain. CY working on a Sanjin Yasha will have that complete. He got a little overzealous in that last fight, I think. Um, he overestimated his strength, maybe. Went back in when he had no Aegis and just died. Prometheus going to be going for AC, so he's going full Aura Strat. Not going to get that first item, Aghanim Scepter, as Bamf going to be caught out here by the Sonic Wave on the Orchid. Might survive the initial burst. Yes, he will from the Orchid. As a CY going to come in for backup, so... Uh, looks like Bamf will survive for now. Going to TP back to base. Get that regen on, as uh, Phoenix has no urn charges left. BJ just farming up. I mean, this is the strength of the Shadow Fiend. The right-click carry who just farms insanely fast with those raises. And, uh, let's check that Roshan Respawn. Respawn time. Not telling us quite how long it's going to be. Axe has accrued 2,600 gold. Morphling. Now that he's got that Lincoln Sphere, I don't even know what he goes for next. I think no matter what item you go for, it's going to be pretty underwhelming. He has to wait basically until he gets 6 slotted at this point. Ward Vision will spot out the rotation from the dire side. CZ Jew just going to be farming out this uh, ancient stack. Going to be pinged out. And he will escape. Doesn't look like the uh, dire vision of that area, but they've got this one. I 
I can't post. I can't post links actually in the chat. But if you want to donate and support my casting, um, I'm on Patreon at Patreon.com/dasturbo. I'm also on Twitter at dasturbo. Means a lot. Um, I will be going to TI5 to do coverage there for a certain someone. But uh, for now, let's focus on this Dota 2 game. As PC look like they might be coming back into it. They can get an Ultra Farm Morphling. I'm interested to see what enemy goes for next. I think Ethereal Blade is out of the question at this point. Um, I don't think you want to go for that. Hell yeah, I read chat. Banff going to be completing a Force Staff here as CZ do. Might be a target here, but it doesn't look like the dire vision of this area. They've just got it here. And uh, Radiant see the high ground in this area, so they see Shadowfiend making a rotation. There's a blink into the other camp for some reason. Oh, looks like BCP actually a vision of this, so they, they saw that. But uh, the push is the name of the game. BCP gonna go for the push. They got that They got that Alpha Wolf creep. Is uh, Phantom gonna D-ward on the high ground, so that's good for them. A little bit more time that Pinecrest are in the dark. Gonna be a Rod of Atos onto Pincus. As Prometheus walks forward and wants to farm these creeps, he's got the AC completed, so this might be go time. Roche did actually respawn. That's a fast Roche timer. Jeez. Looks like there will be a Doom onto near the Queen of Pain. Can't do nearly enough in this fight. Tombstone will go out. Supernova youth. Prometheus, incredibly tanky. Supernova will bring down the Undying. Prometheus is still alive somehow. Able to survive even with the even with the uh, Tombstone. As Face will be able to TP out. Will Queen of Pain die? No. Actually manages to just get away on a little bit of HP. But that's still three dead and none dead for BCP. No buybacks on two of these heroes, and those are the ones that are important. Even if Undying had buyback, he doesn't have Tombstone. CY will go up the hill. BJ clearing out the creeps. Near gonna throw out the Sonic Wave, desperately trying to halt this push. We'll get a lot of damage and kills all the creeps. BJ denies his final creep. That's a lot of damage done. As Phantom's gonna heal up his team, he's got that urn charge for himself, and then the Sunray for the team. As there's an immediate kill of the uh, Replicate rune. Or Replicate by Morphling. Pink is going to try and zone out as much as possible. Gets the Earth Spike onto uh, Prometheus, but it doesn't do a whole lot. Still no Blink Dagger afforded as Prometheus. Forced to go invis, but he's actually spotted here. Dust goes out. Going to be a dive away by Phoenix as he doesn't have super Supernova available. Going to be an uphill Requiem. Beautiful play by BJ. They bring down three. Going to be four. CZ Ju manages to get the Phantom, uh, the Vengeful Spirit as CY gets the kill. Trades his own life, but that's an ultra kill for the troll warlord. Dear God, what a play by uh, Shadowfiend! As he decides he doesn't even want to push, he wants to, he wants to farm. I got a farm, man. That was an insane requiem. God, and they just walked up into it. This is why you don't fight uphill when you have no vision. That happens. That was just Mushi style as Prometheus and Phantom. They don't even need no stinking Shadowfiend. They will go bottom and take that melee barracks. Looks like uh, Dying and Lion will respawn. But not much they can do. As this Morphling is just super underwhelming. I think if you're gonna go for that early defensive item, at least get PKB. Because at least it does something against BCP. Lincoln Sphere, I feel, does basically nothing. I don't want to flame, but it's not the best item choice in my opinion. The CG Ju just respawned, but could be going down again. There's a Supernova available for Phantom. Can pop the Fire Spirits, but it looks like he's just going to use them on Creeps. Prometheus in the meantime will farm mid. Going to be a TP in from the Queen of Pain. They want this Prometheus kill so bad. Do they have Dust? They don't, actually. It's actually on the Lion, I believe. Yep. But, uh, Phantom gonna be brought down by Queen of Pain. That's a good kill to get. Killing spree for Nier. Or, killing spree given to Nier. Excuse me. He was Captain's mode. Infinity. And, yes, I am also controlling the camera. 
Um, I, I'm still working on my camera control, but it, it uh, it's coming along. I appreciate any criticism. You can tweet at me if you want. There's going to be a scouty purchased up by BJ as... That was a quick Roche, even for a Troll Warlord team with a Ventral Spirit. Looks like this is go time again as there's a Replicate sent out, but they're not even going to bother with it. Pinkus, very slow compared to the compared to the Doom as he's going to be swapped back by the Ventral Spirit, immediately brought down by a level death. It's easy, Jew. It's all on him, I think, to initiate for his team, and I mean, this Morphling just does no damage. He's got 3,400 gold, but what does Buyback do in this case? I think, in this case, you may just have to go all out, buy, buy something. Uh... Manta style? You can get a Yasha, at least. Uh... Man, I don't know. It looks like a dead end for this Morphling at the moment. Is uh, the Dire gonna push up in the mid? Phantom? Not able to join his team quite yet. He's completed a Scotty for himself. Jeez. He's just... Mega farmed as the top three farmers are all in the net. Uh, top three farmers are all on the dire side. Is CY gonna jump in? Doesn't care. He's got Aegis. Gonna be a double man earth spike. CY dropping low, but Lion is already dead. Jump in by the axe. Getting lots of spins. Prometheus will die before he's able to use the Doom. Bam! Gonna be brought down low by face, but it looks like Phoenix has arrived. Backup support. There's gonna be a BKB activated by CY. A CZ Jew's next to fall. Buyback only available on the Morphling as what the... He, he still didn't use his ultimate in that fight. Phoenix will be brought down, but it looks like Nier's gonna trade his life instead. Double kill for CY as Pink has thrown out the surface flames, I suppose. It's GG's called. Alright, that's a quick 2-0 for BCP as... Uh, Maybe Pinecrest getting a little outclassed here. Maybe it's the Surface 3. Surface Pro 3 not uh, not doing the work they would have liked. Either way, that was the end of the series. As uh, I do hope to see both of these teams in the playoffs. Of course, this is High School Star League. I am your caster, Turbo. Um, you can find me on Twitter, at DAS Turbo. Um, you can find me on Patreon, at um, patreon.com slash DAS Turbo. Every penny you donate helps, and it uh, helps me get a little bit closer to my dream of attending TI5 as a spectator and member of the press, so that'll be fun. You can, uh, of course, once that happens, you'll be able to see videos of my adventures there and misadventures as it might be. Anyway, this is High School Star League, brought to you by Newegg and Twitch. Also brought to you in part by Rock Rockat, MSI, TSPA, Loot Crate, and Jinx. Uh, my Twitter is at... I'll write it in the chat. Well, that's it for tonight, boys. Um, tomorrow, the cast goes on um, at 5 p.m. EST. I won't be casting. It'll be two others who are much better than I am, in my opinion. <laughs> um, so you can check them out. It'll be an exciting series of games. And there will be games on Sunday as well. Thank you for watching. That's all for tonight. Have a nice day. Or good night.